farmhouse flair and today I want to share with you my 4th of July decor that I have around my home now I don't do a whole lot of decorating for the 4th but I want to share with you what I have done and I also have some fun DIY projects to share with you as well so if that sounds like fun stick with me guys and I hope you have a happy 4th of July okay guys I made this 4th of July wreath for my front door and I need to make another one because I have two uh, front doors. And so I thought I would share with you how I made it because I wanted um, some new wreaths for my front doors this year. So um, I will show you how to make this one. I'm gonna make another one just like it. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started. And um, I will, explain what you need if you'd like to do this project at home so let's uh, go ahead and start with the materials you will need to make one of these wreaths okay guys so for this project if you want to make this you will need a wreath form from the Dollar Tree so one dollar for this and then you will need decorative mesh in the white and you will need one package um, per wreath, depending on how many you would make at home. And then um, I used five of these um, per wreath. And then I also purchased the burlap ribbon in the red, and then the natural color here. And then I also picked up this burlap ribbon at the Dollar Tree. So all of this you can find at the Dollar Tree. And I also picked up the bow at the Dollar Tree, a pre-made bow. So I bought two of these at the Dollar Tree. And then I also purchased these uh, pipe cleaners here for crafting. And um, you get a whole bag of them. You get uh, 40, I think, or 45. You get 45 assorted colors. And I am just using the red and the silver ones out of the package for this project. And then you will need, the only thing that's not from the Dollar Tree store is, is this here, my sign I will be using. And um, this sign here that I put in that wreath, I purchased last year at Walmart. So that is one that I already had. So I just had to go purchase one more this year at Walmart. And um, that was super cheap, I think. I don't think the price is on the back here anymore. They used to have the price on the tag, but now they don't. I don't like that. I like to have the price on there, but I believe it was $2.98 at Walmart. So what I'm going to do is just be making um, the stick on this shorter because it is a long stick here, and um, I will be uh, cutting that down. And you will need a pair of scissors for this project. Um, I did the same thing for this. I just, um, this was on a stake and I just cut it down to make it shorter to fit in there. And um, so, and I think it'll be super cute because I have two doors and the trucks will be facing each different directions here. I think it's gonna look really cute. So I will show you what it looks like when they're all done and what they look like on my hanging up on my doors. But, um, and then the star here that I have hanging, this blue star, is one that I already had. I've had this for years in my 4th of July decor, so I don't even remember where I got that. But you can use whatever you have around the house. Um, I also have a red one of those stars, so I'm going to be putting the red one on, on the other wreath that I'm making. But, um, like I said, you could use anything. I also had this star around the house. But, um, so just take anything you have, you know, you can hang any kind of star or if you don't want to do the star, that would be okay too. I think it'd be really cute just with the bow and the little sign in the middle. Um, and you can use whatever sign you have. Like I said, if you already have something like I did, I already had that little truck sign from last year, um, that I could use. And, um, and then I also... I could have used this one too. I thought this was cute. Um, Land of the Free because of the Brave. And so this came from the Dollar General store. So you could use something like this if you have 
purchase something like that from the Dollar General or um, anything you guys have. Just get creative and use what you have if you want. And um, I'm going to be sharing with you how to how to make the wreath now. And um, I've already like pre-made a bunch of these up for time purposes so that it wouldn't take so long. But I'm gonna show you how to how I did this. And it basically ends up looking kind of like a bow tie when you're done. And I've made up a bunch of these over here. But I am going to show you how to make some more of those using this and this one here. So let's go ahead and get started doing that. Okay, guys, first of all, I wanted to share with you, I just noticed that um, on the back here of last year's sign, it did have the price for $2.97 on the back. The new ones, for some reason, don't have the price on the sticker anymore. So, unfortunately, I don't like that they're not putting the prices on the sticker anymore. And I'll share with you, right here is how I just um, cut off the stake, the wood stake, and put it through the metal, um, the Dollar Tree metal wreath here. So you can see how it's just weaved through there. So... Okay, really fast here. Before we get started, guys, sorry. I wanted to tell you about how much you'll have into the wreath then um, if you wanted to make one of these. It's super inexpensive. I already had the burlap, so I only needed to purchase the, the mesh, the decorative mesh. And um, like I said, I purchased five of those and one of the white. So I end up, so it would be six dollars and I already had that so and then I had the wreath here so seven and then um, the bow would be eight so eight dollars and then if you wanted to add like the sign that would be like another uh, three dollars so so eleven dollars guys in the wreath I don't think that's too bad um, so I think that's pretty good um, just wanted to give you an idea of the total cost of making something like this and um, the star I already had hanging here, so, and, and you don't even have to have that, but um, you can always add something if you have something at home to add to it, or just leave it as is with the bow and the sign. I think it's really cute. So just wanted to tell you um, the cost of the wreath, and uh, now we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, one more thing real quick, guys. Um, the reason why you will need the white is because the way we're going to gather this um, mesh, you it the white really gets hidden. You don't see the white, um, and you'll see what I mean when when we start when I start attaching this to to our wreath. But you, the white kind of gets lost, <laughs> and you don't see it. So the reason why um, you will need the white is just to add a little bit of touches of the white in your wreath here, like I did here, because you. Like I said, it just gets lost in there, and um, because you're you when you gather, when you gather these pieces, um, you do not see the white, and it gets really gets hidden in the wreath. So that was the purpose for the white mesh, and we'll go ahead and um, I will show you how to to do that now. Okay, guys. So what I do first is I start measuring out my my mesh and I'm measuring it to uh, 20 inches. I'm cutting it at the 20 inch mark. And you will get seven out of each roll if you cut it at that measurement that I, the 20 inches. And so I'm just gonna show you with this one how to do this. Um, so what you're going to want to do is just, what I did is just like start gathering it, folding it in and gathering it in the center on, along the white stripe on the, on the mesh. So just gathering it, super, super simple guys. And then I'm just holding it like that and it kind of, like I said, looks like kind of like a bow tie. And then I take, I've, tri I've already cut some of these down 
to size so that I could have them ready to attach on here. And then I just twist, twist the, uh, the little pipe, crafting pipe stuff here and twist it and there you have it. It will hold that in place for you and we have to make a lot more of these. So I will continue to make those in, in this color and in the white as well. And, um, and then I'll be back to uh, put our wreath all together here. So the next thing you want to do is to just start, um, I untwisted them a little bit so that I have space to just go ahead and twist them on here. And so you're just going to take the little twisty and attach it to the metal part. And I'm just attaching it to kind of the, the middle one right here. So I'm going to start attaching those now to my wire wreath. And it's super simple, guys. here and I've got five of these left so I'm going to just add in where I think it needs more filler and then I have uh, five of the white that I will also be adding in because as you can see you do not see as much of the white once you get it attached to the wreath so once we add those on there you will see more pops of the white and we will also be adding for more filler, I'm going to be tying some of the burlap in between here for filler because you can see we've got some empty spaces here. Also, I'll be using the natural burlap, the red burlap, and I will also be using the burlap ribbon. Okay, and then I will add the bow to it and the sign and, um, and we'll be finished. So it's really, really easy guys, really quick and easy. So. I'll be right back. looking super super cute now all I have left is to add this ribbon and then we will be done with this wreath okay guys so all I have left is to add this ribbon and I am not measuring I'm just estimating about how long I want it to be and I'm going to go ahead and add it in close by where I added the other burlap and um, I'm just going to tie it in a knot like I did the other burlap. And then I'll show you what I do with it. Okay, 
Okay, so then after I've tied it in a knot, I just roll it. It's wired um, ribbon, burlap ribbon, so you just, I'm just kind of rolling it under. Hope you guys can see that. And so it's just kind of adding a little more of that burlap because we do have the burlap bow over here and that's just going to tie in with our bow that we have on here. So I'm just going to keep adding more of that burlap ribbon around and I'll be back. <laughs> Okay guys, so the last step here is you just want to trim off these, anything that's longer in the back here. Just um, trim those off and uh, then you're done. Okay guys, here are the wreaths. They are all finished. Super happy with how they turned out. And I just have them on the wreath stands right now, but I'm going to be taking them outside so you can see what they look like on my doors. But this is my first time ever doing um, a deco mesh wreath, and I think they turned out really cute. And it's super inexpensive, especially if you already have some of the supplies uh, that's needed to make these. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy with how these turned out, guys, and I hope you like them as well. Okay, guys, for this DIY project, I'm going to be using these cute little milk glass bottles from the Dollar Tree store. So I have, um, I purchased six of them, but I think I might only do five of these because I usually like to do things in odd numbers um, when I'm decorating. So I'll probably end up just painting five of them for right now for this DIY. And I'll be using my Waverly chalk paint. And uh, you can use any paintbrush that you have on hand, uh, whether it be a little small sponge brush or a small paintbrush like this one. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this project. I'm going to probably be putting some 4th of July uh, f like flor flowers in here. Um, and also probably I'm thinking um, little small American flags inside these. So um, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> them completely everywhere and they're already dry they dry this paint dry super fast and um, I'm going to take my Dollar Tree sanding block and just sand and distress these a little bit I think it will just help bring out the detail here and uh, it has a really cool bumpy textured um, finish uh, on these bottles so I think it has a really cool texture to them so I think it'll be neat um, look really good distressed so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now <laughs> Here they are, all finished. I think they turned out super cute. So, love how they turned out. Now it's time to decorate with them. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay guys, here are my milk bottles. I think they turned out super cute. And I just filled them with some Dollar Tree patriotic uh, red, white, and blue flowers and some small little flags. And then I am going to um, be setting the table here in just a minute. And I'm going to be using this really pretty uh, table runner that I got on clearance from Target. And originally it was $24.99 on sale for $7.48. So I'm going to be um, just setting the table using this runner and um, I will be using my little milk jars as well for my table centerpiece. So let's go ahead and get started setting the table and I will share it with you when I'm all done. Okay guys, I also wanted to share with you real quick a few other items that I got um, at Target, at the Target dollar spot. I got um, two of these napkins and um, they do come four to a pack. For three dollars so I will be using those in my table setting I will also be using these cute 4th of July napkin wraps and there comes um, 10 to a pack here and then the next thing I also purchased at Target was these super cute um, 4th of July patriotic looking uh, tea towels here kitchen towels and they come two to a pack for three dollars and then the other thing I got for my table setting are these cute little ice cream cups I think they just say summer and I think they're gonna be super cute on my tablescape so um, I got the six of those for a dollar each sorry guys I forgot to mention uh, the price for the napkin wraps so you get 10 of these napkin wraps for a dollar. And you also get not only the blue and white stars, but you get the red and white stripe. So you get five of each of those. Hey guys, I just want to talk for a minute about just using things around your home that you already have. It's the ultimate in recycling, right? So I love buying these preserves. They have um, all different flavors and they're all so good. But um, this is a product of France and it is all natural, non-GMO. So I love that. And they are delicious, guys. So what I do is I, when I'm all finished with the preserves, I wash it and take off the labels, off the jar and I reuse them for different things. And um, you can use them for Christmas because they're red and white. It looks so cute. Fourth of July, Valentine's, so many different things, guys, you could put in these cute little jars. But I have put in some after dinner mints in this one for my guest and some little chocolate kisses and hugs in this one. So I will be putting one of these jars on each end of my table for my guest. And I think it just adds a little, nice little extra little touch that didn't cost me anything extra. I'm using what I already had, guys.
share this with you really quick. I got this flag banner for a dollar at the Dollar Tree store. And what I've done here is just cut it up into smaller pieces so that I can make a little tiny flag banner for my truck here. So um, that's what I'm working on right now. And this is the banner here. And what I did was just cut the ends off, the very tip here of the banner uh, for my little tiny banner. And then I'm cutting out some of the little, the smaller stars on here to put um, on on the blue part here. On the, um, I just hot glued that on there. So um, I will also be just using the the jute rope that came on this banner to um, attach and hot glue uh, my little tiny banner onto the jute rope here. So I will show you what that looks like when I'm all done. Okay guys, here is my banner all finished and I've already tied it onto my truck here with the jute rope on either side. And it was a super easy, inexpensive, little quick DIY project out of the Dollar Tree store banner. So I love how it's quick and easy and inexpensive. And then I just put these firecrackers in the back of the truck here that my mom made me years ago. And she made them out of toilet paper rolls. So super inexpensive again, guys. Quick, easy DIYs here. So I will go ahead and put my truck in place and show you all what it looks like above my cabinet. <laughs> Thank you. 